of the loss from Brazil as the starting lineup is announced. Eve and Vargas will start in the middle. Bella Cruz, the captain, will start as the wing spiker. Pena Isabel is a wing spiker but is utilized as an opposite. Marta Frica, the setter. Castillo, the libero. We're almost ready to meet them for the very first time. Marta will start Vargas will be the first person we meet, and this is where they can go over the top here. One nine six. Vargas Valdas. Either one nine four. They're putting their biggest team out this evening. Dominican Republic to try and go over the top of Japan. That's for sure. Penny Isabel, the opposite. Riviera will play wing spiker. De La Cruz, the captain. So far. 39 points, and it is about the top scorer with 54. And Castillo, the libero. Marcos Crick, former Brazilian assistant coach, 10 years the head coach of the Dominican Republic, seeing the highs and lows with him. The starting lineup from Japan, Shinabi does start opposite. So that means Kirigo and Koga both starts on the outside. The setter. Kishiro starts the same. Serena Koga, just 22 years old, 65 points. A lot of pressure on the outside spike of shoulders. Shinabi, legend of two Olympics already. Play opposite Araki. Okamura in the middle. Aikaruga on the outside with Konami Tashiro setting. Tashiro just joining Bucharest in Romania. Signing from Mitsumitsu Springs. A couple of very big clubs in Japanese volleyball. Kogo plays her volleyball for NEC Red Rockets. Kurigo to Ray Arrows. They're the three big clubs where a lot of these players reside. You do start to see more Japanese players now play in Europe with the Champions League being quite lucrative. And every European team needs some Japanese defensive delights. But we are almost ready to rumble. Remember, Japan have won the previous meetings. 3-0 in 98, 3-2 in 2014. The Dominican have only won three of their 19 matchups between the two. It's advantage Japan. The question is, can the Dominican go over the top of this Japanese team? They're bigger, they're more physical. But Japan, they dig their heels in and they fight very, very hard. What an evening for Japan. What an evening for the Dominican Republic, who will thrive playing in front of this crowd. Starts off. Great reception from Japan, as per usual. Look at the coach. Quick, going crazy after the first point. Ruger, firing wide. Riviera with the third. Blocking will be something that the Dominican really want to need. But look at the speed of everything Japan do. It's very characteristic of them. They play at fast speeds because they're small. Two errors in a row. The speed is good. Shinabi this time fires wide. Not the start that Japan would have needed. Focus and full attention on the game in hand. Better serving. Reception. Second time of asking, finds a point. The Carter looking slightly anxious. Japan losing 3 2 to the Netherlands on the second game. A full house in Yokohama. The Carter said she was gutted but happy. But praise the positivity of the players. Huge. The defense from Japan is unbelievable. If that's a sign of things to come, Anui making scoops. Kua 
Chicago making plays at the net. Japan are doing what Japan do so well. And Nuri, that was insane. 2017 Grand Champions Cup, best libero, Gigasaurus. Eve with the serve. The atmosphere, electric. Serve, very deep, Kabata. And there's a block from the Dominican. Once again, this is how this game is going to go. She doesn't know where that's actually going. Dela Cruz not looking, just putting her hands over. Doesn't matter, they take the point. Japan struggling with the physicality of the Dominican here. It's served, but they have to go for broke because Japan's passing is very strong. Kabata playing the role of the service reception libero. Anui coming in to make digs. Kurigo serving. Sorry, setter, so only two front court hitters for this last rotation. Front court setter goes on two for the Dominican Republic. Japan plays so quick, they love running the pipe, but back to the outside from the Dominican. Japan just love making digs. Long rallies are a thing that they do, and they do it well. Oh, one on one through the middle. Not all about height, timing, vision, keeping your eyes on the prize. Okamura doing some damage. Out of system from the Dominican. Should be two at least in the block here. They don't put three in the block because they're so confident with making digs for days. Always entertaining watching Japan. Never a dull moment, but you can see the thought process behind Quick. He's sending out Big, big players to go over the top of the block. Feisty, feisty athletes doing damage. Bella Cruz with an audacious thud through and over. Nefan Tickler. No reacting to that one. Strange, heavy serve. Dela Cruz, two in the block. Koga. Fast to the outside. Great. Vision from the blocker, good middle work getting out and getting two in from the Dominican, but it's too high off the top of the hand. Six should be sitting deeper, sweeping on that one, but isn't. Toshiro now. The race to the first technical has been exhilarating. Super passing, setting is strong, but it's a great read in the block from Koga. Another big player in this young team, 2013. Best outside hitter in the under 23 World Championships. Sees that the ball is only going cross court. Everything's running for that point. Back to sevens. The crowd thoroughly enjoying this one. No tip play, but again, they read it. They can see the deceleration in the approach. And to work that one on a sharp angle. Not an easy thing to do to work away from the body, split the defense, technical timeout, 8 7 from 7 5 down. Japan is starting to grow. Enjoy themselves here. Great angle. Dig that one, Dominican Republic.
exactly as we imagined. The Dominican Republic trying to unload with their most physical athletes over the top of Japan's block. Their defense is resilient. Japan have to hang in there at all times. And when they get the opportunities to run the ball quick, they have to hit the seams and work off their hands. That's how Japan run their game. But for anyone who thought that the Dominican would maybe roll over tonight, that is certainly not the case so far. Pass is good. They're trying to go over the top this time with the tip. But once again, they read the game so well, Japan. Potentially the best in the world at playing defense. It's tight to the net, so they can go over the top. But they have to be more consistent. Riviera tries to drive through that one, but fortunately misses out on the party. Castillo jumping in to go back to the opposite. Castillo again having to set. Quick sets to the outside. Great cover from the Dominican. Penny Isabel doing or proving her worth. Hitting and playing defense. Castillo. No way. Both teams. Dominican matching Japan with their defensive attributes. Third time lucky on the outside. No. Koga just sits and absorbs it. And the chase is on, and finally, Japan are rewarded for that from the Dominican. They will not be bullied here this evening. They are fighting for every single point. What a game we have on our hands. Timeouts. A well needed breather. Great defenses, De La Cruz, Penny Isabel, Castillo. Really working hard for each other. Castillo sitting on the edge of the block when the ball goes to position for the front left of the Japan court. Covering that one cross court. Penny Isabel sitting in between the block. De La Cruz protecting the line. They're grafting. They're three down. But they're really pressing Japan. Playing in front of a home crowd of 8,000. It's exhilarating, but maybe can make the player slightly anxious as well. And it's important that Japan keeps settling quick, out of system. Should be at least two in the block, a chance to play defense. It is two in the block. Koga, once again. It's a really good outside hand. Pushing back into the center of the court. Lights out on Valdez. Substitution. Then Isabel goes off. Gonzalez, Marte, Dominguez, Pena Isabel. Passes slightly quick. Back to the south core of a left hander who rockets through that one. Gonzalez comes in with a heavy, heavy hammer. Fast passing is good in the center of the court. It's not quite high enough, but it allows the setter to get Gonzalez one on one. Without that pass, that's not happening. Pass yet again strong from Japan. They run the fight. And what we'll see throughout the game, they have to use the middle here, Japan. And that's a great run. The middle's gone on a three meter set to take the middle blocker away. And then on the back set, the pipes come. There's no block. Great setting from Tashara. Opening up the spikers with no blockers. Genius work from her. Both teams need to use the middle early on just to try and hold. It's another block. They might be smaller, Japan, in physicality, but not in presence. Okumura 
with the left hand, pressing into the centre. She apologises, but she's not too sorry. No shot. It was unfortunate. Entertainment value through the roof. Mentioned before, both teams have to use the middle early on through the pipe or through the front court to try and hold the opposition middle. Keep them interested in the fact that you can use that ball. Two monster blocks in a row. Okamura taking matters into her own hands here. Gonzalez is so much higher. But she loses height in the air. Japan come back into the game in the block. Six point game. The fast start from the Dominican. Going downhill, three blocks in a row. Okamura having an absolute worldy of a time. One to the right, one to the left, one through the middle. Perfect hat trick from the Japanese blocker. Timeout from the Dominican. They've woken up Japan. Interesting game in Pool F, China versus Thailand. Thailand lead in that game. Thailand are a team that have taken the USA and Russia to five. China are a team that are the best in the world, Olympic champions, but they're not firing. Thailand's ball control and speed is going to be a problem for China this evening, and it looks like that's already started. 17-16 in this game, Japan are absolutely flying. Before the game, the Dominican would have wanted to have made blocks on the smaller Japanese side, but it's the other way around. As big as the Dominican are, they lose their height in the air. Japan's timing impeccable in the block and defense. Out of system again. More blocking, four in a row. Sit down again from the Dominican from Japan. Chance in transition to the outside. Well, scoot. Dominican really need to score here. And they do, finally. <laughs> On it, has to do something different. Six blocks from Japan already in this game. It's the first set. Japan not renowned for their blocking, but six from 15 points is a big, big stat. To the middle again, they try and make it. Perfect. Not perfect, but good. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good. Technical timeout. The quick wider sets. A B set on a three metre sort of length. Trying to find the gap between the blockers. Japan do it well. They set the ball off the net because they're smaller in the block. The tighter you set, the more the block comes into the game. Great stuff from Japan. They're playing to their strengths tonight. <laughs> It's been a fantastic first day of the second round here in Japan. Netherlands still undefeated, Italy, the USA, and Serbia. Something has to give for at least two of those teams in this round as the Netherlands will be tested by Serbia. Serbia tested by the Netherlands. Look at that run of points. Seven from nine going Japan's way. Three blocks in a row from Okinura will be what stands out. First set, their speed, 
They're blocking. And if you can get through Japan's block this evening, we have some sturdy defenders backing up the block. Superstar Okamura to serve to five. Front court receiver. And then the ball has to. It's a great set, to be fair, from Castillo to try and open up the play. Net touch from Japan. Rare sloppy error. Gaini flashing off. Sees everything up there. Target. The ball gets a little bit close to the body. Try and keep your arms away from your body and create a real firm platform. Nice setting. But you just don't get past Japan that easily. And then they counter through Koga. And Koga's been talking to the press in this competition, talking about how she has to play smarter. That wasn't the smartest that we see, but she still makes a good decision to go through the blockers. errors from the Dominican Republic so far. That's not an error, that's a brutal blow. Bella Cruz, pick that one out. 98 kilometers an hour. Everything's heading towards the angle. She just crushes the seam that's left in the block. Happy days. Fast passing, fast plays. Well read. Oh, but the game's carried on. Would you believe it? Yevgeny Machinov says point to Japan. Wake up, Dominican Republic, and play to the whistle. Quick plays off the foot of the, sorry, of Shinabi. Point of the day so far. Dominican Republic can't be sleeping or celebrating too early. Challenge from Japan. Japan want to know if the ball was in or out. They may be sitting pretty comfy at this moment in time, but every point counts. Every single point counts here. In or out? Just by a whisker. Score has been assigned to Japan. Nothing going the way of the Dominican Republic here. Punchy float serves straight on the front court receiver. It goes back to the opposite. Yeah, Isabel. So dynamic. One slow footstep, two quick ones. We've seen her hit cross court. Now we see her have a look. The ball travels across her. She can see the block and she just demolishes the line. Jump serving. Too easy, too fast from Japan. Look at the speed they play. The speed they play compared to the Dominican Republic. They have to. It's their game. But it's to get gaps in the block, just like that. The quicker they play, the pass is great to position two. It means that Tashiro can just run the ball long lines. If you set long distances, you can find the gaps in the block. If you keep the ball tight, it works for the blockers. They don't have to move as far. High setting from the Dominican, and they go over the top. Just unleash. There's the difference between the two teams. They play higher. No blocking that. Don't worry about the speed. It's the height you want to be looking at. Thunderbolts from the baseline. Slight set, snap back. Okunura probably hasn't put a foot wrong this evening. She tries to drift the block. The middle is sleeping. Valdez is just not going or tracking her middle. She's going to the right. Japan spread it to the left. They score. 
have to keep your eyes on the player, not the ball in the block. Face shot, hey, take that one back, Valdez. Comes back, fighting. Again, a wider set, trying to open up the gap. Fast. Fast player, you can see every touch. Leaves a lot to be desired, that one, but the intent from Japan is why they play differently. It's just to play quick off the first ball, the second ball, everything. Supersonic speed. Still no sign of Ishii yet. Also, Valdez too high. Nagioka. The actual only registered opposite on the team sheet. Okimura just doesn't stop scoring, by the way. Nagioka, no starting place for her, although she's top scored twice in this competition. One from the bench, and then against Mexico, she started as players were arrested in that game. Puerto Rico playing back. It's another absolute whip. But Japan, the way they play defense is good, but the Dominican, it's a little bit too little too late. They went to sleep for the mid part of the set, but now they're once again going for broke. They close off the block. The hands are good. They're too high, even. Strong. Fast, accurate passing. Good blocking once again from the Dominican. There's a challenge. Halfway through, interrupting the rally. Looking for a two block touch. If the Dominican are right, they score. If not, there's going to be a let. No touch. So, they can make their way back in. Serving with an extra point on the scoreboard. First referee of Gany Machinov saying, wait for me, please. Wait for the whistle. Mikada has gone for her most trusted team. It's the same six that just missed out to the Netherlands. An absolute classic in Yokohama. Played against Germany and Argentina in the opening game. Back to the outside. They've been effective. Fierce. Phenomenal. The speed again, the middle. Slow getting out to their team. Splits in the block. Japan hit the team's hard. Back on the front court receiver. This time they're blocking for the set. They block so well, but there's an error from the Dominican Republic. Japan's middle work and middle blocking has been excellent. Their defense strong. Their players been fast. Splits in the block. Hitting the seams. They're cruising. Great all round performance. Nicada has gone to her strongest seven. Or eight with the two liberos. And they have delivered. But as we know, this game is a marathon, not a sprint. The Dominican at times have caused some real. 8,000 crowns into this arena in Nagoya, where Japan have given the fans exactly what they want. First set victory, real class. Toshiro running the ball around. Supersonic speeds, splitting the blocks. Japan's hitters hitting the seams. Dominican Republic, it's exactly what it 
says on the tin. They've sent out a big side, a really big side, to go over the top of Japan, but at times, They've lost their height, they've been slightly slow, and the blockers from Japan have had everything their own way. The starting sixes for this one, Okamura starts, Toshiro starts as the setter. Areki starts as the second middle player. Kurigo and Koga on the outside. Shinabi as the opposite. It's the same team from Japan, of course it is. And also, there's two changes from the Dominican Republic. The two Martinez's start instead. Again, very, very big, very strong. One will come on on the wing, wing spiker position, one in the middle. Valdez starts, Marta starts again, Pena Isabel, and Dela Cruz. T Martinez has also started in that first game of the competition against Serbia. Again, they lost 3 0, but it shows that Quick has absolute faith in the whole squad because all of them have played at some stage. Castillo affecting the game every way she can. Okimura had the dream. The ball to the right, left and through the middle in three points. Nicardo will be happy how her team started. It's a golden opportunity, this, for Japan. Brazil lost to Germany earlier on after squandering a 2-0 lead. They had the game won until the match point that they supposedly won was challenged and turned over. Now, Japan tomorrow have Puerto Rico which on paper they should win. But after that, they have Serbia and Brazil. And that game against Brazil, the last game for Japan, should be the one to really pay attention to. That could be huge on who goes through in that third place. Hence, tonight and tomorrow for Japan, it's crucial they get some breathing space away from Brazil to hopefully comfort themselves in the league table. Stats from that first set, 12 attacks from Japan, eight from the Dominican Republic, six blocks from Japan to Dominicans two, an ace each, six errors from the Dominican Republic, five from Japan. That adds to 25-17. China squeeze the first set against Thailand, 28-26 in Paul F. That game is far from over. This game is also far from over. of round two and three. The teams from the other pool in Osaka will be coming our way very shortly. We're underway again, more slide attacks, too hard. Martinez making an introduction straight away. Again, it's tight, it's staying high in the air, but also hitting upwards and then snapping your wrist and pulling your arm through to try and get the ball to dip. Service error from Martinez, comes off to the barrow, gets a chat from the coach. And if they're in system, Valdez this time, who scored the last two. Some speed she's trying to take on Koga there, and she does win. Both middles, A, they're scoring, but B, it doesn't matter if they score, it, it does, but it's not the end of the world. They have to try and establish a connection with the hitter to take the opposition blocker with them, and then the setters can start running the game and getting the other hitters one-on-one. -on -one. It's 
exactly how the game works. If the pass is in, the Dominican have to run the middle. They stay high again, chance in transition. They try and use the pipe here, but they're out of sync. But it's sloppy from the Dominican Republic. You can't say that from Curigo is the best you'll ever see. Castillo maybe has to try and sit in and take that one. Martinez. Elizabeth Martinez sitting at six. Two meters, one centimeter. So at the height of over two meters tall, it's difficult for her to move on the back foot. She might be a formidable force on the front, but on the back she might struggle. Castillo this time taking the defense. Blocked out. Marcos Roberto Quick, the coach, getting really up on the side. Slightly reaching backwards. Shoulders really have to be forwards, pressing into the face of the spiker. Grip it and rip it. There the Cruz. She does, but Japan's passing is once again there. Real super skill. Castillo steps in on the main. High. Accurate swings. Off the body this time, Martinez. Two Martinez's making a real difference since coming on Japan. Could be feeling the heat here. It's hot here in the Goya. Challenge requested. It's also very, very wet at times. The land of the rising sun. Also the land of the wind and the rain. Quite often. Challenge on. In or out. Out. By it's challenge wasted, really, to use one at this time of the set. That might come back to bite you. Sloppy passing, but they get away with it with good cover. Back to the outsides, finding the gap. Martinez, since she's come into the equation, has hit this thunderous sharp angle twice. Either Japan have to sit more into the center of the court, or they have to try and get a third in the block. Setting from Tashiro. Second chance this time, Anui steps in with the bump set to the outside. Scurrying away, both teams here, one in the edge in this one. Kawa, Pena Isabel. This is problematic for Brazil because everything stacked. It's a great, great set. It really is. To get Pena Isabel high on the outside with just one blocker. They're growing here, the Dominican. Japan should be scared. Sitting high. De La Cruz. They just don't know when they're beating any team. The Dominican now might be bigger, but they're covering the court delightfully well. Neri Martinez winning the battle on the net. Japan timeout. Why? Because the Dominican are coming through strong here. in this game it's the Dominican Republic pushing and pushing and pushing the height on the wings 
the sharp angles, the high swings in offense. Japan haven't got an answer at the moment. Back to the front court receiver. Shinabi is receiving, but she's hitting from the left. Wonderful, beautiful work from Koda. Quick feet, the ball gets across to her right shoulder. She just goes off that drifting left hand. Martinez cannot afford to drift in the block. It has to be stable. Out of system. Two in surely with no gaps. Slow touch is a good touch for Japan here. Two block outs in a row. Maybe that's good homework. Shinabi this time doing exactly the same. Just chiseling off the outside hand of another drifting block from Martinez. Has to fix this problem. Japan have found a weakness. Passes back off the net. The middle work. Henry Martinez with four meters. Finding that gap between the two blockers. How many times do we see that play? Props to the setter for finding that avenue. Really is good. From Marta. Really looking more at ease. And this technical. in this competition, but another outside spiker, a veteran of previous Olympic Games in Rio. Should and maybe could make an entrance to stable things up, but it's not a position four where they're struggling. It's just the Dominican being too good in their offense at the moment. Penna Isabel with the serve. Something we see all the time, isn't it? The timeout affects the concentration of the server. Front court setter at position four. So two front court hitters, they go on the slide again, they do exactly the same play as what we saw earlier on in this set. The first time this rotation goes wrong. This time there's no touch off the block. They're trying to open up the play, create gaps. Spikers. Castillo is having a really good game for the Dominican Republic. They run a combination, drifting blocks means it works. Araki this time getting moved around. You would think they wouldn't need to do that so much in this game because they're just so high. Japan, on the other hand, might have to try and find avenues and alleyways and run different plays to try and open up gaps in the block. That pipe attack is good though, they're coming back. Back to one again. The USA, surely favourites for this competition alongside Serbia. How far can Japan go? They get level again through Shinabi. Toxic contact of the ball. It's ducking and diving and moving, and Castillo just doesn't want to take it. Lightning strike twice. Castillo out of system. Two in all. No blockers. They decide to stay down. It's a free ball. Easy picking for the pie. Foot's gone over the white line. Point for the Dominican Republic. Frustration for Japan, really, because that's bread and butter. And when you get 
get an opportunity. You have to take it. You really do. Martinez sending that one to the car park. This is by a long, long way. That's what we're seeing from two Martinez's, aren't we? Both. Well, Elizabeth, 21, January, 20. You can just see that they haven't quite filled their shell yet. Their potential is great, but they do some good things and then some things that prove that they're still on the learning pathway, as we all are. Quick plays, tipping away. It's a good read from Valdez, deciding not to block and to play defense. Second chance, fizzing to the stick, and it's just a swat over from the Dominican. More swatting around this time, back to the outside. Physicality, rushing Japan at the moment. Valdez doing bits in the block. And Isabel working alongside her. No seams, no window to Japan. This game starting to heat up. They need to stay in system here, Japan. They're well out of system. Pass is too fast. More blocking problems. Koga. Well, problem solving is a key component. She knows the slowness at times of Martinez getting across and finishing. So she just goes high off the hands. Quick plays. Out of system again. The standing shot is not going to beat Japan. Chance to draw level. Absolute flames from Koga. Two in a row. She's taking on the middle blocker. It's the same angle. But there's no one defending it because they want the block there. But the block's too slow. So she just finds the avenue. Slots it away. Accuracy on point. Oh, this game is starting to really pick up speed. Wider ball in the middle, takes off Kimura one way, and then she's always second best to Martinez through the pipe. Martinez, two metres tall. Okimura, one metre 77. 23 centimetres just in height. So Japan play quick, but two metres tall, they just play defense for fun. Japan are having to dig really deep here.
Bump sets to the side, more thunderous blows, but the physicality again from the Dominican Republic shines through. In the block, they're making touches in offense. Martinez at two meters tall, too high. Head and shoulders above Japan. They're not as consistent, but they ooze power. The left in, Aruka. Wide setting. The ball's traveling. Probably eight to nine meters. The one and one is there because the middle can't move fast enough. Japan playing their game. The Dominican playing theirs. Scores a tie. Tashiro straight back in to try and keep three. Well, they are keeping three on the front court. They go high, they go hard. They're passing better. And it means that when they pass better, they can take the ball higher. Nice drifting blocks. Okumura not finding the same speed and finish that she found in that first set. Seven. Players from the Dominican Republic fighting through here. Spiker as well, plays a lot out of four, and that's just smooth. Not trying to hit the ball too hard. Accurate with the swing. There we go. Sin serving into the net, on set, giving set point away to the Dominican. in on the front court. What a time to come in. Gonzalez. Opposite spiker just coming in to add some aggression on the block. First set point for the Dominican. They've not gone. Had a game that's gone more than a 3-0 so far. And stay alive. Every time she goes, or any Japanese player, goes on the reverse, they're finding themselves one-on-one. -on -one. The speed is good. Too fast from Japan. Seta comes straight back in. Twenty-four all. Back to the outside. They stay high, but not high enough. Outrageous from Marta to be able to play cover, but. No matter when you push Japan, they just push back. Castillo on the run gets the ball into the center. They know the tip's coming. Tashiro! And finally, Koga. What a rally, it's a mega rally. Pancakes. Big defensive rolls. Tashiro with the defense of the game so far, and Koga. Gives Japan the lead and the initiative again. What a rally. It's been intriguing the whole way through. And now we are for intriguing entertainment. Some young players on both sides. When pressure comes knocking, 
who will answer. Now they're serving to go 2 0. Serve straight down the center of court to Martinez, blocked out, but once again, they're miraculous in their recovery. And now they have a chance, they've taken it, they're back to 25 all. Credit, where credit is well and truly due, the cover from Martinez in the middle. Elizabeth Martinez covering. Gennari Martinez might just be what they need. A little bit of luck. Fast plays. And running in system. Look at the speed. Seems are open. It's not a big gap that's in the block, but it doesn't need to be. The purpose of the play is there. Execution is money. Another set point for Japan. It's a flat float serve, but once again, the Dominican are in system. They've done such a great job, the Dominican Republic, passing far better in this set, but Japan can only find Castillo. It's another chance to counter. The set is tight, but when you're more physical out there, Dela Cruz can just work the hands. This has everything. Toshiro. Not in the same airspace. Vargas. Three. Can they steal one here? Here's their best chance. Two in. They're stacking over that way. But the finish is poor. Japan potentially get a little bit lucky there. There's two in. Oh, it's devastating. It's off one arm and then off a foul this. Not because they did anything too wrong there. Just a ricochet. Third set point. Castillo passes the ball into a fairly good zone. The pipe comes in. Japan take it eventually. Anuri's wonderful defense. Good enough to keep the point alive. Japan lead 2-0. Dominican Republic. They're spirited. They're playing very well. There's a long way to go in this one. Some highlights coming our way in just a moment, but the Dominican getting over the top. They're using their height advantage now far better than they did in the first. Japan know they have a battle. They have an absolute battle here. It's going to be interesting to see what comes our way. Japan lead 2-0. We have some stats coming our way. More attacks from the Dominican. We could have said that. How good were they offensively throughout that set? More blocks from Japan too. That's a surprising one. The Dominican really need to up their blocking stats. More serves, more errors from the Dominican. That's what's cost them. The errors, eight in a set to Japan's four. But let's give the Dominican some credit. They played some physical ball and we love that. She managed to take a start in this one. So many of these players have played it at Samitsu Springs under Nakada. Nakada won three championships coaching 
Itsumetsu Springs for taking this role for Japan 2020, Tokyo 2020. Japan will start with Koga, Shinabi, Araki, Okumura, Kirogo, and Tashura. It's the same group. The band are back together again. Just waiting on the Dominican Republic. Valdez, Martinez, Marta, De La Cruz, Martinez, and Pena Isabel. It's the same as the previous set by the looks of it. Elizabeth Martinez will start at position one. Valdez at two in the middle. Some might say that the Dominican Republic deserves something out of this game. A 3-0 It's not really what's on the cards at the moment, but Japan, when tested psychologically, they came through, didn't they? They really did. Different sets bring different challenges. One thing is for sure is that they have nothing to lose at the Dominican Republic. Valdez leading the charge and they're trying to give as many encouraging words as possible, really. China. 2-0, 13-12 against Thailand. That's a game they need to win. They've lost already to Italy. Italy undefeated. Ugonu, Sia and Co. running the so-called show here. And in that group, that includes China, Italy, Russia, the USA, Turkey. That's incredible. The two of those sides are going home and at the moment it doesn't look like Italy or the USA are one of the teams going home. China, could they be leaving the competition before the final six? Number one in the world, not quite firing on the opposite or in the centre. The team that won in Rio are not playing the same level at this World Championships but they are beating Thailand. Back to this one. Fast again from Japan, they just go nerving, working off the block. Speed. Suzuki's traveling across the spiker and it's going across their body. There's a chance that the block will be drifting as well and they can just work off the hands. really for the Dominican Republic if there's one thing they needed in this set it's a good start Anui just plucking another one but then that's a really really big block suffer that Japan two in, super heavy super high, Valdez rains down a bit of pain on Kurigo, straight back in the day sliding Whipping back, but no joy blocks there. Back to the outside. Oh, face shots all around. First of all, Valdez on Karugu. This time, Japan. Hammer de la Cruz. Ouch.
in or out. Out! It's overturned. A little bit of luck, really, but... The Dominican Republic, because... Just need to hold tight. Weather. The storm. a gap, Koga will take that gap all day long. She's that good. Young, but that good. Defense tremendous from Japan. Just sticks an arm out the setter. Marta, but just Japan again. This is what they do, and they do it well. But two already from Martinez. For someone so big, she moves across the court well. Japan when they're out of system. They have to play high when the ball's off the net, and that's when they struggle. Their game relies around passing dimes. They have to pass well. Fast plays on the pipe, and that's exactly what we're talking about. When they pass well, they play so quick, Costello. It's going to be another quick play, this time probably to the pin. No, back on the slide. Catch me if you can, the Dominican Republic. Says Kurigo, but this is why they have to be in system. They really do, because when they're in system, the speed is electric. Dominican Republic can't get anywhere near them. when the Dominican Republic pass well. Can't get anywhere near them either. That's a great stick. Really impressive. Elizabeth Martinez this evening. They complement each other. The Liberos, Anui and Kavada. Kavada in the doing such good work. She goes straight back out. It's difficult, it's a great swing as well. But for the Libero, not even to stay in for defense, just to come in for service receive. Concentration has to be really good. She's coming in. She doesn't even stay on the whole time if she plays the whole game as a Libero anyway, let alone sharing those responsibilities with another Libero. Pancake. It's not Japan making great defenses, it's the Dominican Republic. We've got a game on our hands. Again, more scurrying, covering, squeezing everything they can out of every point. Tashiro just stepping in, distributing the ball everywhere. Costello not happy. The speed is just sickening. And again, it doesn't matter if you hit the ball, everything quick is going to put pressure on the block defense. One point for the technical for Japan. They want to get it now. Cover again. The Dominican really swimming against the tide, and they're doing a great job. High snaps. Just stay high on the ball, Dominican. Anything to the perimeter from that sort of height. Two meters. An athletic Martinez. What a product they have coming through there in both of the Martinez's. Shimura has to hit a sharp angle. It doesn't fancy taking on Martinez on the line at two meters tall. Martinez fancies taking on Japan. Tooling off the hand. He has to really press and focus on that inside hand. Key for a blocker. So many people will talk about the outside hand, the inside hand, maybe even more important. Juggling everywhere. Little bump set, there's two in. Way to find an answer. Kurigo in Japan, not in the same height. But again, you give them a little gap in that block, they will manipulate you 
Timeout, technical timeout to be exact. This is a high ball. You have to bet on the Dominican closing that block. Valdez doesn't get across. Should not be leaving space there. The ball's too high. Valdez looks round to the setter and just says, I don't know how that one got through. No idea. in the background, the Southern All-Stars becoming the hits of this competition. Ball goes high to the outside once again. They just blur in defense. And then they go to the outside. Kurago belts the line. on the pipe. Great reactions though from Marta. Cover again from Japan is exemplary but it's matched by Dela Cruz. Then there's potentially a football oh, yes, sloppy. Very tight. So tight it's over. Second chance, Shinabi just flips it out to the pin for Japan to try and score. Same. Scary times for Japan because the Dominican are just firing too high. De La Cruz, Janeri Martinez, two meters 92. That's different airspace. Dominican Republic have trees on the outside and they're hitting over the top of Japan every single time. Oh, and now Japan can't find an answer. This is very similar. As soon as Japan are out of system at all, there's no solutions. Great pressing, great finish. When the pass is perfect, Japan 
can really run the plays fast, make it difficult for the blockers. But look, again, they're off. So there's a chance to get two in the block and they get a good touch. Same again. They have to be better with their passing Japan. And the touch, not good enough. The Dominican Republic, come back level. with another pass of high class. Again, just stepping in. Smooth, slow, calm, relaxed. It's a good height. It really is. And that's when Japan are at their best. High and off the net, but they can hit themselves out of danger. Pancake, strong, Nakurigo. Chance to be high again. Oh, that's almost taken the net down from it's Japan. Get their clappers together and clap them very, very hard. Two point game. Same story, they love overloading that, don't they, to the outsides. They don't mind, who knows. They go high, and they just let their big weapons fire over the top. Pen Isabel, Martinez, De La Cruz, it doesn't matter. They're in a different airspace when they pass well. In Japan are playing completely the opposite style of game. Quick, trying to hit the gaps, trying to orchestrate the play. Koga finding an angle, hitting off the body on a drifting block. Absolute world class. But the Dominican Republic, they're not orchestrating anything in the second position. Marta is not doing anything really create splits. They're playing simple. And then they're orchestrating the play from the spiking department just for hitting high and trying to take Japan out. For the 8,000 fans in here, they've signed up to an intriguing battle. Out of system. This is good for Japan because it gives them a chance to extend their lead to three. Consistency key, they hit that little pot ball over the top of the setter. There's a net touch, maybe. Yes, definitely. Referee matching off. Getting involved. Challenge from the Carter. There was a whole foot underneath the net. Team. Completely wrong. That's a challenge wasted. Ricarda looks under pressure on the sideline for Japan. There is pressure. They're building for. Tokyo. They're playing at a home world championships. It really is pressure. And talking of pressure, in abundance, a steam train. There, the Cruz hitting off the body to fight. You won't see a more brutal pipe attack than that, almost landing at the net. Unreal. We're back to 15 all. This game just keeps giving. Japan doing their thing, getting blocked and covering. Not the second time though. Can't find a way to do it twice. Technical timeouts. Different story. Dominican dominating. Nipah! 
This game has got life left in it. Three in a row. Dominican Republic are battling back in the Goya. Very soft serve, but it's to a wonderful position. It's phenomenal work from the Dominican Republic. They get three in the block because the serve to one put them under so much pressure and the setter had to go to four. It's all about power from the baseline. They've worked hard. And that's a super spike. It really is off the body from almost three meters in the air. But the serving and the blocking has just come good. Maybe not the serving, but too much. Again, out of system, but they're so high. Chip to the line, one stays high. They know exactly what the Japanese defense is doing. High snap, they might need to sit a bit deeper. If they sit deeper, they'll tip short. They're so high, it takes time off the reactions of Japan. Oh, fuck, but what an up that is as well. And the chase. Costello just whips it back over, heating up again. But Costello on the dive with a right hand. And then to the outside, Della Cruz heating up. Costello just plucks an arm out on the way down. Look how much it means. Hustling. Time out. side as well is she wasn't in the 2012 London squad but she's a big part of this one and there you have it That's exactly why you want to come on is she pushing back against the Dominican Republic seven titles with Hitsumitsu Spring High, oh, but sits on the line. Koga, and then Ishii. 
but much credit must go to the defense of Koga sitting on the line. And Ishii getting a little bit of luck off the net back. This is a Japanese side without the likes of Sorori Kimura, who announced her retirement in 2017. The legend of four Olympics, who would still love to be playing in this World Championships for sure. Unfortunately for Japan, she was nicknamed Japan's future. She's now Japan's past. But Japan's hopes and dreams still alive here. Nakada, remembered for her fiery competitiveness and temper as well. She's very different as a coach, Nakada. And also the head coach of Japan is a fashion model as well. But that fiery temper she had as a player. She's a lot calmer as a coach on the side. Shinabi serving. Scores back to one. Japan are being made to work for absolutely everything in abundance here. Hide the outside. Koga again. Ishii. We're getting to see that a lot. They're trying to go high to the line all the time. Blocked out. They're loving that play. De La Cruz just high arming it. Well, not so high that time. She drops her elbow. Block out though. Really amusing battle. De La Cruz tries to hit to the line. Japan know what's coming, so they're stacking their defense to the line as well, seeing if they can make digs. Anui steps in to play the first. Back to on the sky. It's been a great game, this one. It really has. Speed, whip, whipping the ball around. That's Japan. That's exactly how they run their game. Double sub again. Nagaoka will come on to play front court. That's where the setter was, but then the reserve setter comes on to take the opposite place. There's three hitters on the front. Doesn't matter, Martinez gets squeezing. Squeezes the ball through to that. Hold on tight because we could be seeing a fourth set. Japan need to stay in system. Dominican would love a block or a defense here. Ishii puts the ball in perfectly. Nagaoka is dug. And that's thunderous again. Then it is about. You've got De La Cruz, he's hitting high over the top of the block to the line. And you've got Pena Isabel piercing the gaps in the seams. Having a field day here in the Dominican Republic. Types of players offering different threats in different zones. Japan have to stay alert to who's playing what position at what time. De La Cruz staying high, going to the line, and then Pen Isabel. She'll go to the opposite in just a moment, but she loves drawing the ball. Her arm comes through the ball, her thumb comes up, goes into her left hand pocket. So on that right side, she'll want to hit angle. Communication key, body language key, both of them together creates intensity. Something both teams don't need to create right now. They are invested 150% into this game and this moment right here, right now. Super passing, speed is good. 
is not to cause issues for the Dominican Republic. They're big. They don't like going to ground. It's another way of scoring against this team. The crowd trying to get another 10% here. Araki. Concentration. Has to try and create some pressure here. Castillo has been so good for the Dominican Republic. She's leading the service reception so, so well. Watson's system is so high. Bella Cruz through the gap again. Two will do it. Pressure's off from the baseline by the looks of it. With the gap. And imagine this ball's coming across you. It's coming across you. And you have to try and find a solution. The best way is the blocker will be drifting with you. Shrewd play from Japan. Shiro back in. The problem now is she has to serve. And she really has to try and score. Oh, it's a shame for the substitutes. The card are now parking orders. Set point. Hugs the ground. The arrow comes in. What a game. Janeri Martinez has had who's just left. First set point for the Dominican Republic. Japan needing to stay in system. Kapala does a great job of that. Navi goes to the line, the ball is just in. Challenge. Or oh, we might see from here, actually. Oh, it looks so close. Just in from where I am sitting, you can make your own mind up. The Dominican Republic smiles for Blurick. In or out? Oh, it's just in! Mind blowing! By a millimeter, one save. We go again. Second set point. The Dominican Republic out of system. They have to hit their way out of trouble. They do a good job of it. And for the first time in this competition, the Dominican Republic will see a fourth set. Another one here in Nagoya. They've been too high and too physical at times. That's another indication. High and off the hands. Just showing. Volleyball is a game about trying to be high. They're in a different airspace. Japan struggling. And they're struggling as soon as the ball is passed off the net. As soon as they have to play high and slow, the blockers from the Dominican are having a good time. Let's have a look at some highlights. We've had a fair few of them, haven't we? <laughs> So, set stats. For the first time, the Dominican will see a fourth set. More attacks, more blocks, that's huge. And that's down to their serving. Maybe not aces, but they're serving better positions on the court to get the block more involved in the game. It's very smart from Quirk. More errors from the Dominican Republic, but hey-ho, they will not mind about that in the slightest. Any changes? Well, Evie will start again for the... Dominican Republic, Marta, De Seta, and Isabel, De La Cruz, Martinez, and Martinez. It's the same. And also, 
It's the same for Japan. Koga, Tashario, Kumura, Shinabi, Kurago, Araki. That's the strongest team. And how do you stop this onslaught of Dominican attacks over the top? Whether they snap high to the line or they go over or through, it's so tough to stop. Legend that is Jenny Lang Ping, first coach to ever win the Olympics as a coach and a player. Karch is Karch Karali is also looking to that from the USA. Tight passing, flip back. Good work again when they pass well. It's problematic for Japan. Everything deep. It's really good. You see, you think volleyball's about hitting the ball steep and downwards. That's only for your ego. And your ego is not your amigo. Dominican staying deep on everything. from Koga, and as this progresses, Japan can't let the Dominican Republic get too into this one. Again, if they lose a set here, it might just come back to haunt them. Sweeping up, well done from Dominican, flooding through, but Japan make another dig, and it's every time from Castillo digging everything. <laughs> out, wins the ball. But maybe a, a, a really big worry for Japan is if they even win 3-2, Evie can't close out. They win 3-2. They have to give a point up for the Dominican Republic. Oh, off the chest, out of play. And that's also not good for them because Brazil still took a point today from Germany. They lost 3-2, but it means they take one point, Germany two. And if that happens to Japan, they need every point they can take because they still have Serbia and Brazil, and Brazil are really going to have the bit between them, their teeth. Wow. There's been some earthquakes around town, but that was the biggest rumble we've seen. Stido, so smooth, wider set, snap to one, stop that. They know exactly what's happening. Can you stop it? Absolutely not, it's too quick. Fast plays, fast plays, fast plays. Three fast plays. They're speeding it up here, Japan. They have to. Unsettling, to say the least, for the Dominican Republic. Drifting, not quite in position on the backcourt, late to react. Evie playing the bear out on the defense. Castillo in the play, service reception. High plays, big angles. This is everything we talked about pre-match. Two teams, contrasting styles, always makes for great watching. 
smart. Very smart. From Koga, who's been talking about getting smarter through this competition. She knows that she's got two on it. She hasn't got much angle. That's probably the most that she can play the ball back cross court. But she slows her arm down, she finds the play. doesn't like shuffling around. But when they are in system, that's what happens, a little fadey set. Just running it across the face of the net, finding the seams, Martinez doing the big work out there. Super quick again, Japan on the pipe. Money from both teams. So good. The speed from Kurigo. The middle, trying to take the middle block around the back. She stands her ground though, Martinez. Doesn't go to the left side. Holds the middle for the pipe attack. Still finds a gap though, Japan. As it stands, Japan would stay in third place. No matter what. But it's not even about that. The top three go through. If they lose, they're only one point in front of Brazil. And they want to really pull away. Technical timeout, 8 7. Brazil have tough games against the Netherlands and then that game against Japan. They have Mexico tomorrow afternoon in a game that really Mexico will struggle. Bottom of the group, Brazil will need to beat the Netherlands if Japan win this evening by the looks of it. If Brazil wins tomorrow, they would be on 60. They need the breathing space. They really do. The Dominican Republic, if they win 3-2, they go up level with Germany. And that keeps them very close. Because Japan would be on 14 because they took a set. Brazil 13, and they would be just three points away. So who knows? It would keep the door wide open for Germany as well, so they'll be watching this closely. Game on again. We love this game. Quick plays, middles in, one on one, but it's a great read from Dela Cruz. Back to the outside, staying high. with the serve. It's been a fascinating contest. And fans getting slightly more desperate. Two in again. The cover is as disciplined as you've ever Discipline in cover is everything. Shara gets the one-on-one -on -one in the end. Koga is only going to bang angle when she sees that happen. Bella Cruz knows she should have just changed the path of her hands to take the cross-court hit. Situation and awareness is everything here. Cover in, out of system. It's going to be a struggle for Japan here, but they find a solution. Well done. Koga. Got 
got the brick walls in front of her, but she just hits up. Taking on the block of Marta, she's the smaller blocker. Great decision making. That's what the game's about. Outside, two in, sharp angles wide. Japan are getting back into this. Pipe attack. Shinabi just pinches in, looking to try and cover that attack as well. Staying so close. She knows it's not going to the outside. She makes the read off the setter's body language. She's just a little late. Out of system, no blocking. It's a free ball. Chance for Castillo to run it in fast, which she does do. The pipe is on a second tempo. It's good. Middle comes screaming in, hunting the ball. Second tempo, there's an alleyway. Would have liked to have hit to their line a bit more, I'm sure, Martinez, but beggars will not be choosers. Quick, smart play. Under pressure, tipping it around the monstrous blocks of the Dominican Republic. Eva will wish that she would have kept a bit of a closer eye on her opposing number then. She's stacking a little bit too far across. Castillo jumps in. She's been impressive. Cover from all angles. Chance to dip away. Rare mistake. From Karugan. Again, she's underneath a bus. How do you get your way out of that? It's difficult. Ace! It's a high toss. Thunderous blow to Japan. To the right side. Kabata, 90.6, full stretch, you're not getting near that, shoulders not getting around the ball. Time out for Japan. been a good old-fashioned game of one team playing quick and smart, the other just playing physically and slow. The story far from over. Will it be the smaller, slightly faster playing team of Japan or the slower playing, more physical, dominating side of the Dominican Republic? There's still a few chapters left to this one. Time out to try and disrupt the rhythm of De La Cruz. Completely and utterly the coach's time out there. When the server is on such a run, slow the game down. Fast from Castillo. I sound like a broken record, but Castillo is just on flames. And that's a true compliment to the whole team, because when the first pass is that good, that close to the net, that high, they will hit over Japan. Now it's Japan's turn to struggle. The Dominican Republic over the block again. They can't pass poorly, Japan. 
It's the bread and butter to their game. When they're in system, the Dominican, they will go over the block all day. But the pass has to be better from Japan. Still not quite tied enough, but it is quick. But when it's off the net, they have to start tipping. As soon as the ball's off the net, the game slows down. The blockers have got more time to get to the outside. Japan is struggling. They play fast again. And finally, their quick play pay off. It's just so difficult for them at the moment. And it is about not getting round the ball, not channeling the ball back to the centre. Phenomenal. It really is a phenomenal angle from Martinez. Did that, Japan, or dare you? Or get three in the block? That's the choice. So much higher than Japan. And the angles, when you're so much higher, the angles you can hit. You can hit wherever you like. Far more varied, towering over the net, super sharp. Great game. Great, great game here. Could not get two teams further in style or systems. But Japan, if they lose a set here, they drop a point. And that's going to cost them dearly. If they win this 3-1, they go to 16. They're three up on Brazil. They both have games they should win tomorrow. The day after, Brazil have the Netherlands. That should be very close. Japan have Serbia. Say they both lose those games. Japan will still have three points on Brazil going into that final game where they play each other. And they can rely on sets or points difference. They have a better points ratio and sets ratio at the moment, Japan. But if they drop one here, it doesn't matter about that because it's going to go down to points. This could be tournament defining for Japan and it might just let Brazil back in again. Granted, it will always be in Japan's hands at the moment, but unless they lose, if they lose, then it's crazy. No one would have thought that, though. Japan losing at home. 8,000 pushing against the Dominican Republic. They just push back, and then Japan come flying through again. Wider sets, trying to get in between the blockers. They can't side out, Japan. Oh, more blocking. The cover, they have to cover. The set's so tight, so there's more blocks. They have to keep the ball off the net, Japan. Otherwise, they're going to get roofed out of this game. Castillo, back to the centre. Oh, Spanchi! That one's almost ended up in Tokyo. Physical whip of the arm, high but wide. Smiles for Crick. Japan pushed back. And this is when the Dominican Republic become vulnerable. Their first touch, insecure. Getting defensive with the touch. Arms are not pushing out. Not a secure platform. Japan. Well, there's an opening here. It's up to them whether they take it. Time out from the Dominican Republic. Come on. 
was to lose, it's no longer in their hands. If they were to win this evening, everything is in their hands. It's in Brazil's hands too if they lose Japan. That was a big result for Brazil today, losing to Germany in this game. Serbia are flying, they're cooking on gas. So are the Netherlands. The Netherlands will be very happy they beat Japan in the opening round. 3 2 thriller. It means they're not really mixed up in this business. If Japan was to lose here, it really would almost qualify the Netherlands and Serbia right now. It wouldn't be far away from that. That's the outside, big snaps. Making more defensive, but that's sloppy. The Dominican Republic have been exemplary in their passing and their touch within the last two sets. Castillo has been so good, but that is just showing signs of stress. You just can't believe it. They're getting so insecure here. She started that game. She hasn't started here, but she's making her presence felt. Sneaking down the outside hand of the blocker. More passing problems. Dominican Republic are snoozing. Japan have just let them off. Off the hook. Two point game. That's massive. Difference between 18 or 19 17. One leaky pipe hit. Now it's Japan's turn. It's phenomenal. Song. The setting. Tom and Aga setting long distances. Seven and a half meters, the middle's nowhere because of the setting that opens up the gap in the block. Nagioka thanks them, she'll take it. Two and two from her. Long, looking for a decision. Are they going to challenge? Yes, they are, of course they are. Nakada. Known for being fiery as a player. Cool, calm and collective on the sideline, but there's a hint of anxiety in her eye right now. In or out, in, ace! The team is right. The challenge has been overturned. Game on. Sneaky from Araki. She'd love another one though, surely. Another top spin, jump serve. This time it's short, Castillo, almost ace. The crowd are on their feet here. And Nui with marvelous defense. Castillo just takes the sting out of it again. Poor free ball passing, cover. And finally, the Dominican Republic prevail. Oh my days, Tominga. Goes to the outside, the free ball not good enough. Two in the block, tries to work off the body, but there's two there, and they're big, they're daunting. One way, and then another. Quick plays. Nagaoka coming off the bench is not an easy thing to do and she's carrying her team through but then through the block goes Martinez too high again for Koga Martínez. 
Sides. They know exactly what's going down here, the Dominican Republic. They're getting blockers in the faces, making defenses for fun. Back to the left side, crunching off the block. Second chance of Arsky to the outside. It's now Japan's turn to get blocky on the Dominican Republic. They go to the pipe, now the open. What a run that is on the inside, 10. Middle goes one way, opens up the gap for Nagioka to go through the middle. Great work from the middle blocker, the setter Tominaga, working her magic too to get to her hitches. Gaps in the block. Clutch time, absolute clutch time here. people cheering her name her team one point down serve to one get two on the outside to position four serving from easy to one the ball's dropping inside it's difficult for the center they can't get their body weight through the ball as much and their hand through the ball the ball dies inside because the ball dies inside the striker doesn't get her feet to the ball sends it out the back Exactly the same play. This time they go to the middle. Wonderful run from the Dominican Republic. Use the middle from there. Credit to Martin. They just don't go away here, the Dominican Republic. A set here would be potentially damaging to Japan going forwards. Out of system, it's a slower game, although they play boss. Oh, stop that. Kurigo looking one way, but working off the body because she knows she has to find a solution. So she works off the body. She can't hit the ball hard down that alleyway because biomechanically it's just not possible to work off the body that hard. But she finds an angle. And now they're out of system, the Dominican Republic. This has to be now. It has to be now, Japan. No, there's a block from the Dominican Republic. Three balls coming. Or it's a down ball anyway. Second chance to the outside. The tip well reacted. Both teams giving absolutely everything here. Finally, the kill block comes from the Dominican Republic. You can't power through the front line at the moment, Japan. Evie getting across well. They know that the outside Kurigo loves coming to the line. They take it away from her. What a rally. Both teams playing to their strengths. In system again. Fast day to the pipe. First time on the inside, 10. Now it looks as if she comes through on the pipe. Yes, she's just waiting patiently. No block. Great stuff from Kaminga. The middle blocker takes the block to the left-hand side. They guess the ball's going outside. Nagioka comes to the middle. No block. It's 
insistent. Tipping over the top well, red, but too, too close. Ishii, not this time. Japan, not this time. Martinez in, Riviera out. We go to a tiebreak set. This could be really damaging to Japan later on in the competition. They're out of system. They find a solution. They save the first one. That's just when Kurigo is at her best. Getting out well, really working her feet, hitting off the body, challenging the defense, staying away from the block. Koga comes in for Ishii. Ishii was just used for her reception skills. Position one, the target, looking to stack the play over to four, which they do. It's very good from Japan. The tactics are on point. Then they get a chance and they put it away. Massive for Japan. Now they have match points. Butterfly time. Drifting blocks. Really clutchy from Koga, coming straight in, scoring the point. They've given everything to the Dominican Republic. They've been so good. But Japan have really dug their heels in. They've refused to give up in this set. Timeout. It's difficult to maintain focus, but Japan need focus in abundance here, and it's in the net. It's a great timeout from the Dominican Republic. Here we go. And Japan left reeling here. We are in overtime. Tight goes the outside off the block. Fantastic defense again from the Dominican Republic. We stay high, but one-handed. Kurigo making up for that service. Error. But eventually, the blocking of the Dominican Republic comes through again, and they have their second set point. Full stretch, one-hand, Kurigo. Out of system, they're really struggling. Super quick passing, they're in system, they should score. Nagayoko with an outrageous rip, but it's done. Chance, a swing, off the block, we're going to four. How damaging is that going to be for Japan? They've dropped the points at least in this game. We won't know the consequences of that until later on in the competition. The Dominican Republic have 8,000 fans, two sets down against them, they come back home. Wow.
from Japan. That's unlike them. Do we see changes? Now's the time if they're going to do it. Yes, Nagaoka starts. The opposite, Koga will start outside. There's no place for Shinabi. Apart from that, it's the same. No, Ishii is in as well. Shimura is out. Shinabi is out as well. Tom and Inga starts. It's a completely different six. Tashuro not in. So they're keeping the same opposite and setting combination. Dominican Republic were just waiting for them. Starts again. Martinez and Martinez are both starting. De La Cruz, Pena, Isabella, Marta. It's the same team that's just finished. And if there's one man really up for it this evening, it's that man in the picture. Marcos Brea, Castillo, Martin. The two Martinez have made such a difference since coming in. They've been consistent, controlled, physical. Then it is about, they just feed off of each other, but it's all linked together this evening from Castillo and Marta, the setter. Marta doesn't have to work as smartly as Tominaga, who's setting now, and Tashura. They have to think more tactically. Marta just has to be consistent in feeding the outside super high, as you can see again. Same, they're stacking the cross court. They're free taking the angle from Japan. But yet again, they can't convert the digs. Off the top, spiky defense. Jace is on. This is a hot start to set three. That persistence pays off for Japan in the end. This has everything. Serving key for Japan here. They have to get them out of system. It's a good start. Two in the block. They lose the height, but they're going after everything the Dominican Republic. That serves to one. What's going to be cramping the play? The ball drops inside the right hand shoulder onto the left side. They lose the height. Good job from Japan. Trying to serve on angles so the spikers lose their height. Doesn't matter about that this time, it's an ace. Ishii. Impact. Stello can't react. Nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing to lose. But now, they can see the finish line. And the problem when you can see the finish line is that sometimes it gets a lot harder to make it there. What a timeout in that third set as well. With the coach disrupting the rhythm of Japan as they started to sneak into that set. Huge, huge time in that game. We're in a new game now, though. Float serve. Good positioning. Deep, smooth, aggressive, strong. Same as we've seen the last three sets, just Pena Isabel, just crushing angle over the top of everything. You could have 
15 Japanese blockers out there and she'd still go over the top of it. Shaky passing, door open again. Koga's just not ready, she's staying so high. She's not tracking the ball, that's pressure. Absolutely. Kabata out of system, there's no middle. Have to go tipping again, chance on the turn. Really this free ball, they have to put it away now. Navioka. When you talk about players making an impact, since she's come on, she's made a real difference. Spiking to the line, tipping over the top of the one on one, defense slightly sleeping. Take your hands. Once again, that overhand pass is good from Japan. They're serving more aggressively, pushing the Dominican Republic back. Ball goes out the back, though. Have to convert your dicks, Japan. If you make one, you have to put them away here. Otherwise, the Dominican will just wriggle and force their way back in as they have done all evening. chance to convert for the Dominican Republic. That's one dig made back. That's exactly what we were just saying about Japan. When you make a dig against the opposition, you have to put it away at this level at these moments. Nagaoka will need to keep pushing here. She's on the front court position too. It does go to her. Solid as always, but the reactions are good. There's not a net touch. She's hit the post. Japan not happy about that as the net's still shaking. Two in the block. That's your game changer right there. Nagayoka, full on connection with Tom and Aga. Drifting blocks from Martinez. Twenty-seven years old. Forty-two points before this game started. Now she's serving with a little bit of aggression as well. That's a really slow tip. Japan need to try and score, but it's slow again, so they can't really hit through the block. They have to play quicker. They have to play quicker to get round these big blockers. They do so, and they get rewarded. They have to bide their time a little bit, but they get rewarded when they can speed the game up. Once again, the middle blocker Martinez getting ready to go to the outside. Pike comes right back into the game. Setting from Tom and Aga. Really smart. Castillo passing on point. Have to put this away, Japan. Nagayoka yet again not letting her team down. Back to the pipe. This time from the Dominican Republic. And then it's a flicker from Iraqi. And then Iraqi's getting involved in the block again. They go high, they're trying to hit over the top, but they can't get over the top this time. It's worked all night, but Japan are coming back. And eventually, it's an error. Well, there's a challenge. It looks as if the referee's given it in. And Japan are now contesting the decision right here. What a game. In. Great swing then from Martinez. Absolute ripper. Speed versus height. It's going all the way. In system. 
absolutely insistent. The pass is into a good area. Japan speed the game up. They play at their tempo. Look what happens, they score. Tom and Aga. The ball's off the net as well. Out of the way of the block. The substitutions are working delightfully well. Castillo jumps in, keeps them completely in control. The middle goes over the top. No surprises. Substitutions coming in. Great swing, too high. Riviera coming in to serve. Pressure. Nagioka flying through the air, taking pace off the ball. It's a slower run. Anue. So it's Kabada playing defense by the looks of it. Second chance for Japan to the outside. Off the block. Wide, fast plays. Causing problems for the blockers. Trying to make them set up. They're rushing them. It means that the timing and the block and the line is just out. They have to keep their eye on the spiker and the speed is too much. to the outside. Cover for Marta. And it pays dividends. Unreal. Just sitting. Locking it up. And then over the top again. Tomanaga, Okimura are just doing their best to get in the same airspace as Pitna as a bell. Two point game. Insecurities again from Japan. Potent serves on the knees, no firm platform. Ball does not go into the center. Marta serving. They're back to one. It's okay if Japan are a little bit worried here. Is she? Really robust swing from her. It has to go high to work off. And Isabel there is a good, good swing. So also a great read from Dela Cruz because the spike could just turn their body to position one so they can make a read on it. Crowd going crazy because there's a free ball back to Nagaoka. She goes for that little tip over the top of three again, but the reaction is good enough. The defense not so strong from the Dominican Republic when they really needed it. Just shows that getting high just dumping the ball over the net, over the block, is causing enough problems. Short on the front court receiver. It goes back to an opposite. Ball hits the floor. Through again. Smiles all around. They can be very proud of this. They really can. They need one here, though. Easy passes quick. Japan, when they're playing this tempo, they can bully teams. It's fast. They know what they're doing either. It's drifting in the air. Miles away from pressing on that one. Japan edge closer. Timeout from the Dominican Republic. And they need it. 
They've worked so hard to get back here, but Japan have had to really push back. They face adversity. But the fans in here are sensing that it's going to be their time. It won't be perfect. They would have loved a 3 0 or a 3 1. But instead, the best they can do is a 3 2. But the Dominican have to keep pressing. They have to believe because they've struggled the whole way through from 2 0 down. And this is their chance. If they win today, the Dominican Republic, they've still got a chance of qualifying. Japan will have a two-point lead over Brazil, who lost today. That's costly for them. That loss to Germany could really hurt Brazil as this competition goes on. They would have beaten Germany when they had the chance, had multiple match points in the third. They didn't take them. Germany came back. If Japan steal this one back now, then they're back in the driving seat, just. Overhand pass is good. They go back to Evie in the middle. Cover from Pena Isabel is strong, but the ball control has let them down. Time for Japan! The crowd go crazy. Okamura goes in quick. Then it's released to Koga, who finds the seat. Splits in the block. Seams are being penetrated. It looks as if Japan are going to sneak through this one. High to the outside, one back sharp, and the crowd are silenced again. Two eighty-five, super high, super spike. Martinez in for Riviera, an ace or a block minimum, but the ball's been ballooned out the back. Size of disbelief. It's been an epic, epic matchup. Serving for the match. Japan have not had it all their own way, but it should be over. Castillo just sits and plugs it. A free ball for Japan, though it should be this time. Nagioka is shut down. Their re resilience. Uncanny from the Dominican Republic. Lights out on Nagioka. He saw the finish line, didn't cross it. Second match point. No middle this time to the outside. Castillo again just sits, blocks the defense. A second chance for the second time for Japan. And Castillo for a third time. The Dominican Republic just are making defenses. Heart and desire galore. Third time, why break the block? Japan and their 8,000 fans have got them through this time. They are still in third place. They take two points. Heartbreak for the Dominican Republic. Because with this result, their hopes of qualifying, well, they're very, very low. But they can be so proud. They were strong, high, over the top of the Japanese blockers. Japan, they really had to dig deep and play their game. Play fast, too quick at times for the Dominican Republic. What a game. Two games today provide so much drama. Germany and Brazil. Brazil led 2-0. Germany came back to win 3-2. Some thought the same might happen here. 8,000 fans celebrating and pushing Japan over the finish.